Ever been curious why associations have board meetings? Who can attend those and why are they necessary? This video is going to answer some of those questions. Let's start off by establishing that a board of directors are made up of volunteer members in the community who are elected at an annual meeting or appointed by the existing board members to fill a vacant spot. To make it simple, they could potentially be your neighbors, or at least they own a property in the community, making them a member of the association, which is a requirement to attend a meeting or to be on the board. Please note that board members don't get paid they volunteer their time collectively making decisions on behalf of the community. When do they make these decisions? At an association board meeting. These meetings are essential to a healthy HOA, both for the board and homeowners in attendance. The frequency of these meetings, it all depends, mainly on the discretion of the board based on how much the association is responsible for and the business that they believe needs to be conducted. For instance, typically townhomes and condos they're gonna meet more often than a single family home association because the individual homeowner of a single family home is directly responsible. While a townhome or a condo association is often the one responsible for siding, roofs, interior common area, and much more. A board meeting typically takes place at a neutral location, such as a library, event center, or office space. There are plenty of other venues that a board can choose to meet, but the focus is to ensure that there's enough space and it's comfortable for every board member and the homeowners who choose to attend. Before a meeting can begin, the board must reach quorum, or a majority of directors must be in attendance for the meeting to be defined as an official meeting. A secretary or a volunteer board member should also be in attendance, taking meeting minutes of the decisions that have been made by the association. The meeting is often run by the board president, who follows an agenda of items related specifically to the topics the board intends to discuss during the meeting with the assistance of the other board members. A meeting could be held to discuss the status of a current or a future construction project, the current financial standing, or rule enforcement in the community, for example. Boards base their decisions on the governing documents that were created when the association was originally established. A meeting can also involve homeowners who assist the board through perhaps committee involvement. For instance, a landscaping committee can work to provide the board with information on future improvement projects in the community. However, homeowner input can occur through what is referred to as a homeowner forum. This is typically a 15 minute window for members to address something that they would like the board to be aware of. It's important that both homeowners and board members be respectful during this forum, as this portion of the meeting encourages communication and transparency between homeowners and the board. Your board of directors should be communicating when and where board meetings are being held so members can choose to attend and learn more about what is going on in their community. In addition, board meeting minutes should be made public time and time again. We've seen frustrated homeowners quickly change their tone when they get on the board, when they realize it's a lot more work than they previously thought. Make sure to thank a board member next time you see them as it's often a very thankless job. We hope that now you know more about HOA board meetings. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website to discover why self-managed associations around the country are taking advantage of HOA Assist. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.